Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of City Skylines, and today we've got some work to do. Now, last episode we broke 100,000 population, I was really proud of that, but I had a lot of complaints during my episode of things that I was noticing. Now, we had actually jumped quite a ways above 100,000, I think we were closer to like 108, if I were to guess right, I believe. And uh, what I had to do, and you notice we're down to 104. These neighborhoods that I originally placed uh, by the industrial sectors between Hickory Square and actually I think this is all considered Hickory Square. Anyways, these uh, sectors that I placed, I made some very, very key mistakes with them. They were right up against, and I would even argue maybe this is still a little too close, but they were right up against and basically mixed into your industrial sectors. And they were full of sickness, people were dying, it was creating some really bad traffic patterns, and overall it just it wasn't a good time. So I've gone through, I had to delete a whole lot of neighborhoods, a whole lot of houses had to go away. Uh, between here, uh, over here in Washington Hills, there used to be houses all up where this green strip is. Those are all gone. And another couple of things that I've actually changed. Uh, there used to be a bunch of intersections that went across this that were causing absolute chaos for the industrial sector. So I've had to go in and delete those too. So I did take a hit, but I feel like for the future of the city, this is going to be a move that was necessary. Another thing that you're probably noticing, there used to be tons of little icons above all of these industrial buildings. And that was because they weren't getting enough services. Uh, services including transportation, even stuff like parking garages and stuff like that, they would really appreciate. So I've gone through and somewhat corrected that mess too. So hopefully we're going to stabilize here and the industrial sector is going to be healthy. And when I say healthy, I mean they're going to be thriving as far as money. Health-wise, uh, they're all over the place. But anyways, so we've got that taken care of. We're going to slowly start to build up. Actually, you're starting to see I added one street back here, or actually two streets back here to Washington Hills to get them off the main drag. And you can already see they are moving into the houses. And I've noticed these houses are actually quite nice. Uh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because I kept thinking that these were going to be morally workers for the industrial sector, but I could be wrong. So we're going to look at that. We're going to go address a couple more issues with the city, but uh, I'm going to go to the other side here and we'll see what work we can do on the other parts of the city right now. All right, so I'm going to do something I normally do not do on my city skyline series, and that's going to be I'm going to build a bit at night because I want to show you guys what this area looks like all lit up because I actually think it looks pretty cool. Now, what I'm going to do here, I've noticed that we're not getting enough customers to uh, some of these hotels, and I think it's because we're not attracting enough customers into the city. I don't think it's because we're not, you know, getting them in because we have an airport and we have the uh, little cruise ship harbor down here. Uh, what we need to do, and Tourists like to visit places like landmarks, and I noticed, I don't think I've ever really placed like some of the landmarks, some of the unique buildings that we can really put in there. Actually, does football really have its own category? Okay. You know, I don't think I've ever noticed that. But I feel like we need to stick some more of our unique buildings down here. Now, whether that be arenas, we've got an opera house down here. Uh, to me, that would be something that would uh, really attract some people. Now, the question is... Where can we stick it? Cause, uh, because this area is really pretty compact right now. Uh, let's see. I gotta search around. Here's where we stuck our latest building. This is that luxury hotel from the last episode. I think that looks pretty good. Now, we could stick the opera house on the other side of the aquarium since it's kind of like a little entertainment district. Uh, that might actually work. Let's see. How big is this bad boy? That would fit right in front of it. So, what we need to do... And this will help with a little bit of supply and demand. I know sometimes it sounds weird, but dezoning helps at times. Uh, let's move this taxi depot. Let's move it over here to this corner. But yeah, sometimes dezoning helps. Uh, the whole fact of, say, if you have too many businesses, and no matter what you place down, uh, it's not going to actually help the uh, city grow. So let's go ahead and put a unique building in here. We're going to put the opera house. I'll place it about right... There. Is this thing uneven or what is it? That looks pretty good. I like that there. I feel like we need some more stuff and there it goes. I was waiting for it to light up. I feel like we need to add to make it look a little bit more realistic. Uh, maybe have some more parking garages or possibly I think they've got some parking. 
It's like some plain lots, I believe, here. Let's see. Sometimes I get confused with all the little mods I have. Yeah, I've got some fairly decent sized lots that we could stick on either side. Let's go with both sides there. Trying to watch our electricity situation. Is that our one connection we're relying on? Is it this? Let's keep that pretty close. There we go. So we've got the parking lots around the Opera House. The Aquarium already had a couple lots there. Let's go see what else we can do. Let's travel over into the big city, see what's going on over here. Uh, it looks busy as normal. This thing has grown up so much. Like this park, you used to be able to see it. Now just look how busy it is with all the people walking around. That's uh, that's actually awesome. I love the way this looks. Uh, let's see, what can we do here? We have a demand for commercial zoning still. And I believe this is commercial zoning here in this corner. Now I could extend here, or really I could work a little bit over here since this is empty. Uh, if I were to do that, I'd probably zone commercial right here. Because I don't know if I want to go any further down. So let's go ahead and grab some roads here. Uh, I want to keep it off the main avenue. So we'll probably only connect, say, from here to here, here to here. That might even be one too many intersections. Let's see, if we did that and if we were to go straight down through here, now, I know this is not going to be perfect. I noticed that the road, the outer avenue here, is slightly slanted. I want to correct it, but then I don't want to actually go in there and actually destroy a bunch of stuff. So, let's go ahead and zone a little bit of commercial there. I want to keep this empty gap there. So, let's zone that. I keep saying I don't want to add another section to this. But then again, it's a big city. Let's go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and do, we're going to drag out, I think we've been doing three by three, so let's drag out like that. And where's our nearest street to connect to? I believe it's going to be actually right there. That's why I grid this sometimes, because it just matches so perfectly. Alright, so I'm going to change this grid up just a bit. I've noticed that I have pretty consistent lanes going up and down, and I have a cross street right about there, but I'm actually going to switch it up down here. Uh, let's go ahead... Let's just change the pattern up. We'll do one across, and we'll do we'll go ahead and do like one down all the way. That way we can just make this look a bit different. Let's go ahead and try to line that up. There we go. So one like that. I might actually stick a park in here somewhere. So we'll go ahead and allow this street to go across. This section here is going to be something. I'm not sure what yet. So let's run that. And let's go ahead and try to line this one up here. There we go. So we've got a little bit of a, a unique section here. We're going to go ahead and dezone this. And let's go ahead and check our water situation here. We're looking pretty good. That jet just flew right by. <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and zone some heavy commercial here. Or dense commercial. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and give them all of these sections. There we go. Alright, so we're going to do that. Let's try to attract them into this area. Let's go ahead and add a... I'm going to do another big park right about here, and let's go ahead and do a playground. See, these are small, so I do a playground here and a dog park on this corner. And I'll connect these. I don't want to do it on camera. I've done this a lot. I'll connect these with some uh, little dirt paths and make it look a little bit more natural. Instead of three separate parks, I'll make it look like one big park. So we'll do that. That's going to hopefully curve the demand for a commercial there. Our residential demand spikes, but then it goes back down because I do have zones open. Uh, they haven't quite filled up back here. So I'm going to kind of wait before I add some more of that. I'm going to let them uh, fill out these zones quite nicely. Let's go ahead and check over here. Nope, no icons there. No icons there. Oh, that's lovely. I love seeing that. Uh, that was making me a little bit nervous. Uh, seeing all the icons, and I thought maybe we kind of just screwed up the whole system here with the industrial sector. So, they're good. They're happy right now. We're gaining citizens. We're starting to, uh, or actually, we're still recovering from what we lost earlier. Now, a couple things that I want to do with the industrial. I want to encourage, not necessarily clean energy, but I really think they've got some unique plants. Uh, it's the modder packs down here. They've got a couple things that I think would actually fit, like a semiconductor plant. Like, that feels like that would be in the industrial zone. And if I were to play something like this, I think this might actually improve the zone overall and make them a bit happier. So if we were to place a plant like this, let's go ahead and do it on the outer portion here. It's $120,000. Wow. 
That is expensive. Let's place that. Does that have any effect on you guys? No? Hmm, it's a little odd. What does that do exactly? Let's see. Uh, where are you at? It's just a, it's a plant manufacturer for high processing, pro, uh, high performance processing units for computers. Okay. I don't know if there's actually really a point to that or not. Or it's just a unique building. I would have figured maybe it would attract a little bit more higher uh, in industrial over here, but apparently not. It does look like a cool building though. I do like that. Okay, I'm ready to zone in a couple more little residential areas here. We're going to go ahead and... Let's see, I've been using the grass patterns. Let's run these right through here. Let's give them uh, these. I'm going to leave this empty because that still feels like it's getting a little too close. So let's zone this whole back half. Do we have water? Yes, we do. All right, so they're going to fill those. Let's check over here. Washington Hills, they're getting... They're getting there. There's still some spots, so I don't want to quite fill this up yet. But that looks good. Have we uh, helped with our little demand here for customers? We still have a couple icons uh, popping up here and there for customers, but seems like it has gotten a bit better. All right, so I'm about to tick some people off here. We're going to go ahead. I feel like we have finally graduated to a sports team. Now, we have these little football packs. But I need an area to do it in, and I feel like it's only going to be right to do it here in the tourist section. I almost thought about sticking it by the big city, but I've been debating. I think it'll be better over here. So we're going to go ahead. Let's section. We're going to cut through here. Actually, let's dezone this. I've got other areas you guys can move in. This will be completely fine. Let's, uh, let's dezone. Let's say from here. There we go. Let's cut out th about that much. That's a pretty big chunk. We'll make some more streets over here to reconnect these. Say right. That's going to be too close intersection-wise. Let's say right here and right here. I've got a couple buildings I can move in and out, but what I'm going to place here, and it was this football pack. It's a football stadium, or better yet, a soccer stadium for us Americans. So I'm going to place this. Now, how big is it? That's a pretty big lot. So I want to make this actually look like a grounds for a stadium. So I'm going to make a couple roads, uh, some parking lots, and then we'll maybe try to zone in a little bit of commercial back into it. That way you have some businesses for the uh, fans. So I'm going to cycle around a day here, and then we'll go in and we'll build this thing. All right, so we are ready to go here, and I'm debating on how I want to do this little stadium section. I think we're going to add a small road in front of it, line it up with the parking lots, and then stick the stadium behind it. Now, when I think of stadiums, I think of mostly avenues, but I don't... I think for the sake of space, I don't want to throw that out there. So I think we'll be using this two-lane street with the uh, trees. Now, let me find parking lots. Parking lots, parking lots. How do those sit? So I'm thinking maybe we do one. Eh, let's go one, two. We want to do four? We could probably do four. Hmm, those don't evenly space, do they? What, are the, what does that look like? That's a little strange, is it not? You know what? I've got a better plan. All right, let's delete those. Those aren't very expensive, are they? Uh, let's go ahead and build the road. Let's say we're going to enter in here. We have a little section. Let's just... Do... Is this curved? This road is slightly curved. That's a little bit of a problem. So let's make it curve slightly. Let's go about like... Let's say that. Now let's grab that stadium real quick. How big are you? Oh, that was almost perfect. Let's move it over one. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and grab that road again. And let's overshoot it here. That way I can still continue this. Let's just run that behind there. Let's get a straight street, and... Would that do it there? Actually, I think we would need to be like this. Why can't I place an intersection right here? Oh, don't do this to me, game. Construction. Space is occupied. It's occupied by a road in which I want to, you know, connect an intersection into. Okay, I've got to reevaluate that. I like the way that looks. That actually looks fantastic. But this road kind of leads to nowhere. We could... Could just have it like... A, well, actually it needs to be a little bit bigger than that. We could have it like that. But that looks a little empty. The whole fact there's not a road spitting out. I do like the empty spot in front of it. But we could... 
Guess we could lead this around. This is going to be a pointless road. But we could lead this around to parking. Say, let's lead this to the side of the stadium there. And let's go ahead and place some parking here. Let's go... Ooh, and I can place these even. Ah, uh, that's so satisfying. There we go. So now you've got a big parking lot. You know, that actually doesn't look bad. Because, realistically, I don't know how much traffic's gonna use this road. I don't know if we'll actually see people pull in. I don't think so, but... Oh, that is awesome looking. That's the first time I believe I've used that in the game. Okay, so now we've got a stadium here. We, we're a legit city, and look at that. <laughs> the cruise ships that are... I don't know what's happening here. I think they've given up on life. They've just crashed together. I think it's a part of this map. Uh, somebody was explaining in the comments the way the... Uh, and let me show them here. You can see where the channels let out, where the uh, where they actually drive in and out. Let's see, Or I should say, float in and out. But uh, let's see. I'm going to grab... Let's see if I grab one of these ports here. You can see where the channels connect it, and they just come right off it for some reason. And they tend to group up like that. And I think it's because the where the channel flows in, the harbor's right there, so it doesn't give them enough time to get in and out. So that's why you see this, whatever this is. So anyways, hey, at least we have a lot of tourists coming to the city. So yeah, I'm really satisfied with the way that looks. I think it's going to look even better at night. I'm trying to figure out, you know, I could have done... And let's see what this looks like. I could have done something like a central road, yet that doesn't want to connect. It's because... Is it because of the angle? Would it connect like that? Yeah, that just that makes too aggressive of an angle. So yeah, we're going to have to leave it the way it is. Because I could wrap a road completely around it. Uh, that's cutting it probably a little close, though, with the highway and the power lines that I do have there. I probably am not going to do that. Just kind of hold off on that. Alright, so we're going to work a bit on this neighborhood out here. This is Broad District. Uh, we added this a couple of episodes ago. I've been just kind of expanding it out, leaving some really big gaps in it because I just want this to look like a nice neighborhood. So let's do that. Uh, let's run this street across, actually probably a little further. Something like, let's say that. I'm going to leave that actually open. And let's go ahead and grab, make sure our water's... Nope, not quite out here. Let's do that. Connect those. And let's go ahead and add some more residential. Actually, let's just highlight this thing. There we go. We'll just highlight that all because I'll eventually uh, make another street that curves around. So that's going to open up a bit more because I believe over here, yes, uh, Washington Hills is already full. And we're almost full over here. Actually, does this district connect with the other one? This really needs to be a part of Washington Hills. Let's go ahead and drag. And I'm going to drag it across the highway here, but let's go ahead and keep it in the same district. Uh, give them the same policies here. There we go. And you guys need to be included in that policy. Uh, those districts look a bit messy, but that'll do. So I've got that. Now also, let's see our... Uh, that's opening up quite a bit. What are these icons, though? Not enough goods to sell. That tells me industrial. Are we getting some traffic jams finally? You know, this is probably the heaviest I've seen the traffic going into the city. This is normally a fairly calm spot, but it does seem to be a bit busy. So I don't know what we're going to do there. They've been utilizing that bridge we built a couple episodes back, and they're getting a lot of goods into the city, but it still seems like we're, uh, we're struggling a bit here. Any issues over here? We've got some icons, some trash icons. And they're not enough raw materials. I actually need to look into this a little bit because I don't fully understand sometimes when they don't have enough materials. I don't know if it's because the traffic jams are not getting in. Uh, we might have to redirect some of these lanes. Let's see, what looks like the trouble spot? We've got this street here in the middle, which is extremely busy. Uh, same with all of these. And these are one ways. I do like to use one ways in, in industrial sectors to try to tell them where to go to try to keep the... Uh, the transport lanes open, say like this uh, little harbor over here. I want to keep that open and as unclogged as possible. So that's why I do use the one-ways over here. But it does seem like we're getting a bit of backup. And I think it's right here. I almost feel like the center or this road shouldn't even be here. So we're going to delete that. There we go. So that's going to force all of these people to go down even further. And whoa, it's even backed up back here. Fire trucks are having problems getting around. Yeah, I'm going to have to try to figure out what I want to do to fix this situation. 
Uh, if not, this might just be a, a busy street, but I might allow them to go back the other way at some point, but I'll have to figure out which street I want to do that on. All right, we're going to do a little bit more building towards the city. I'm going to go ahead and get another couple residential zones ready to go here. Uh, let's go out three. I'm gonna have to stop probably a right here. I don't think I can add any more because we're getting uphill. We're getting close to the big city, and I think that's about as close as I want to stick small houses uh, to the actual city itself. So let's go ahead and connect some cross streets here if I if I can actually hit it right. There we go. And let's get this one here. So let's do that. Delete that little bit of excess right there. And let's go ahead and run these water pipes out. There we go. We are growing so big. I think this is all going to eventually somewhat merge into one area, one big section between the city and all these little neighborhoods and the tourist district. And I, I wasn't sure if I was actually going to do that. Uh, I thought maybe I'd try to keep them all separate, but I think that's just going to be one of the better things to do just to continue to grow the way we are because we're at 112,000. Uh, we really recovered nicely from the uh, first of the episode and all the work I had to do in between. So I'm liking that. I don't like this zone right here. I don't know how that got zoned. Let's keep that clear. So we're going to dezone those little couple ones there. I'm going to need to expand the high density. Either this is going to be residential, maybe a little bit of commercial. I don't know if it's going to be more offices, but I need to really expand in this area. It looks like we have a bit of a def issue. And I want to say, first of all, this road here is unnecessary. I want to say maybe that's gotta be because some of the traffic patterns that we're seeing here so that's something I'm gonna definitely have to look into in between episodes and see if I can figure that out and see what's going on I'm still getting a couple of these icons I'm gonna need to also look through my metro system and see why we're getting those but uh I feel like we accomplished a, a decent bit here today uh, not a big build because I'm, I'm not wanting to oversaturate what I have right now so I feel like that would be a very bad move to go in here and just zone out a whole bunch more stuff and then get citizens in there and they don't have jobs or stuff starts going downhill because I think I've done that quite a bit. I I want to try to avoid that. Uh, one more section. I'm noticing these little icons here. I do feel like we can go ahead and add a bit more commercial here. So let's zone in this and this is this might cut a tie here. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Really should move this. Let's move this over real quick. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to do an odd connection here. We'll run it out this way and we'll delete these lines here. Uh, I need to find a better way to connect those and get those moved out. Uh, let's see. Let's move this to here. Uh, let's go ahead and overshoot it just a bit and we'll run this out to here. There we go. So let's do that. Looks like that's not going around the right way. There we go. Let's clear that through. Let's go ahead and get some four lanes through here. Actually, that's a avenue. I don't want that. Four lane. There we go. And let's load them up through here. I do see quite a few commercial vehicles here. So there is goods getting here, but it's a question of what's holding them up. All right, so I've zoned this in with commercial. I'm going to take a little look here. Let's dive down into the city and see what our traffic situation, what's holding us up here. This is kind of hard to do. Uh, with the uh, skyscrapers. I know there's some traffic tools that we could utilize to show us uh, what streets are really clogged up. Uh, let's see. Those look good. These all kind of look like they're going fairly decent. Uh, we've got a couple little blockages in here. And that really could be just the way it is right now. I mean, I could cut out some of these cross streets because maybe we have a couple too many unnecessary intersections through here. And why is everybody in red? So it's like National Red Day. That's actually really creepy. So yeah, I could cut out some of these intersections. And I do apologize if it's kind of hard to see. Uh, these all lead out into the like the big main six lane road. Now I could make another big six lane. Actually, you know what? I think we're in need of an upgrade through here. This road here no longer needs to be an avenue. It needs to be a six lane feeding into the city. So let's do that real quick. Let's go ahead and upgrade the road. Let's go boom, boom, like that. And let's go ahead and upgrade it all throughout here. There we go. And let's do that. I need you all upgraded. Come on. All right, so we've upgraded that road. Let's get rid of this cross street here so that eliminates another intersection 
And let's get rid of this one here. So there's only one main intersection right here. And actually, the light should be on for this one. There we go. Try to organize that traffic a bit more. So that's one feeder road. That's one main road that they're taking. I do wish they would take a little bit advantage of the original road that leads to the roundabout. But they're not really doing that. So I'm going to have to adapt to that and see what we can do here. Can we change this? I think this road here also needs to change. This one probably needs to be a four lane. Is this still a one way? And that's the way I was doing this when I was sectioning this off. Let's go ahead and make, them, make it to where they can go both ways. Okay, so that connects to a four lane right there. So that's gonna change a bit of the patterns. And also we're gonna make the outer ring here a four lane. That way they have a couple more options about getting in and out of the city. I didn't realize that was probably the reason this is so backed up and we're not we're not getting enough goods to all of our citizens here so got all those let's keep going this whole outer ring is going to have to be a four lane now so we're going to upgrade these roads there we go and these are all okay those are connected to a four lane so that's good we'll see how that takes effect uh we're having just uh, actually a little bit of a deaf issue there and that's also because of the traffic backup I'm going to watch this uh, in between episodes and see what I need to change. I don't like to do too much traffic management during episodes. To me, it seems a little boring. So I'm going to watch this and see what I can change up here. But anyways, folks, uh, we've grown up 115,000, still growing pretty strong. Got a couple things I'm going to need to take care of in between episodes. I do apologize that we didn't build anything like absolutely huge or any huge districts or anything. It's really been uh, micromanaging some of the small things. Uh, we did get a new sweet stadium. Actually, you can see it. It's full now. They're playing soccer. That is cool. But anyways, folks, I want to thank you guys for tuning into this series. It does mean a lot to me. Anybody that comes in, comments on it, leaves a like. It's always really awesome to see. Even though it's a smaller series, I still get a lot of interaction between uh, me and the viewer on it. So it's always really cool to see. But anyways, folks, if you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time on City Skylines. Thank you.